we've seen the the president of the United States come to the United Kingdom and he was welcomed by the great and the good well nearly all of the great and the good is what we saw today on the streets of London if if what happened today on the streets of London had been a right-wing group let's say the, the football lads or the veterans or any of the groups that took to the streets and are now classed as right-wing even though we're not really right-wing we're we're just right if any of our groups had treated pensioners and I think both of these men were probably pensioners one of them certainly was the other one maybe he was just a young fella that had white hair but I'm guessing he was around 60 maybe more if any of our groups had treated in fact anybody not just pensioners anybody in the way that that mob of violent communist scum treated those two gentlemen it would have been front page news it would have been on the front of the evening standard it would have been on the front of the metro it would have probably even been on the front of the daily mail to be fair the daily mail did actually run the story along with lbc but the the coverage on the media you would have thought those those protests today were entirely peaceful the protest today by the anarchists the communists and the really dangerous people in this country there's hysteria within the, the left-wing media about the supposed far right there is no far right but what there is there is an extreme far left conspiracy to destroy our country people like Jeremy Corbyn Diane Abbott who I believe is a racist David Lammy and then it goes all the way through to people in the Liberal Democrat Party and people in the Conservative Party and they're plotting they're plotting to destroy our country that's why they're so opposed to Brexit that's why they're so addicted to immigration and when you look at the immigration figures see one of the things about the immigration figures I'm going to touch on this very very quickly immigration to the United Kingdom there's a big lie about immigration and it's called net migration figures and what net migration figures do is they cover the inflow and the outflow and then they have an average between the two so look at how many people leave in the country and how many people are coming into the country but really the figure we should be interested in is how many people are actually coming into the country at the moment where they're from and what their background is let me give you an example recent years there's been over 500,000 people coming into the UK immigrants coming into the UK of that 500,000 people a year that are coming in 43% of them are Muslims nobody's talking about it why because the state the establishment the corrupt left-wingers in the Conservative Party the Liberal Democrats and the Labour Party the mainstream parties are all complicit in this flooding of the UK with literally millions of Muslim migrants in the past 10 years and why are they doing this why are they doing something that will so obviously destabilize society well that's anyone's guess and of course I'm not standing and, and saying that every single one of those people that's coming to our country is going to do it harm I'm not saying that the people that are coming to our country are wrong to want to come who wouldn't want to come here it's a great country or it was a great country it's not a great country anymore but what I've realized over the past few weeks and months since we've been doing this that the real danger the real danger to the United Kingdom is communist Corbyn you know they, they chant at us when we go on demos because we're concerned about what's happening to our country they call us Nazi scum of course it's a slander we're not Nazis we're not wanting to do any harm to any group of people we're concerned for our children and our grandchildren and our country but they chant they chant Nazi scum you saw it today two gentlemen who supported Trump being literally beaten up by a mob of rabid rampant communists and anarchists and the police stood by and did nothing the real danger in our country does not come from the far right even though there is a far right it's tiny 
and it's pretty much insignificant. But the problem is, the more powerful the far left get, the more that the real, genuine, nasty far right will feed off that. And of course, they both go around in a big circle and meet together anyway. But look at the far left. Look at what they're doing. They're making pacts with Islamists. That's a fact. That's an absolute fact. They're making pacts with the Muslim Council of Britain. The Muslim Council of Britain was set up by a Bangladeshi war criminal, by Islamists. The, the government itself has said that they're heavily, heavily influenced and controlled by the Muslim Brotherhood and Jamaat al Islami, which is the, the Pakistani uh, Islamist political party, and lots of other Islamist groups. And the left are in bed with them in groups like Stand Up to Racism, working with them in the Labour Party. And is it any wonder that the Labour Party is getting more and more anti Semitic as it has Islamic extremists and Islamic supremacists in its ranks? The far left. The Labour Party are extremely dangerous and they're, ex they're extremely dangerous for many reasons. First and foremost, because they actually despise the British working class and they fear them. The genuine British working class do not want our country to be turned into Mogadishu in the rain. That's not what the genuine British working class want. The genuine British working class are patriots. They love their country. And in the past hundred years, Millions of our forefathers have been willing to go out and fight and die for our country and to protect our country. But look at Jeremy Corbyn. Look at the people around him. Look at who they support. Look at who they count as friends. Hezbollah, Hamas, the IRA, the Irish Republican Army that slaughtered, that slaughtered people in Northern Ireland, that slaughtered people in England, in London, in Manchester that slaughtered our soldiers, that slaughtered our policemen, that slaughtered innocent Catholics and innocent Protestants in Northern Ireland and little children. Jeremy Corbyn loves the baby killers of the IRA. And no doubt he rejoices every time a British soldier gets dragged across to Northern Ireland to be put before the courts for supposed crimes committed during the Troubles. So the real danger is from those thugs, and and listen to how they talk. And I, I, I'm not I'm not being I'm not uh, complaining about the way people speak. I mean, people speak in different ways. But a lot of these a lot of these people speak in a very very specific way. They're programmed to talk. When you listen to Corbyn and you listen to 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 his sidekicks, Abbott and Lammy and all the rest of these people these insidious vile people when you listen to them they speak in a certain way and what they do is they always 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 play the race card play the religion card play the gender card what they're about is dividing society into little groups it's called identity politics that's what they want to do and what they will do they will ridicule you they will mock you they will try to get you deplatformed they will physically attack you and then if none of that works well, they'll revert to something far worse. And they'll use their henchmen and their terrorist organisations to even kill you. And that's what we have to put up with when we're in this movement, when we're trying to, we're trying to do the right thing, we're trying to save our country from absolute lunatics. And, and I think the chant that the far left have for us, of Nazi scum off our street, we should really just turn that round on them and call them as they are communist scum commie scum off our streets that should be our, our chant because the communists were every bit as bad as the nazis the nazis were vile disgusting evil left-wing nationalists actually they were left-wing nationalists that's what the nazis were and the communists were left-wing internationalists i suppose that's the easiest way to bracket them and the communists as bad as the Nazis were, and the Nazis were violent and disgusting, the communists were every bit as bad. Look at how many people Stalin slaughtered. Look at how many people died under Chairman Mao. Look at how many people died in the killing fields of Cambodia. You want communism? Be very careful. Sometimes you get what you wish for. The 
left in the United Kingdom are the most dangerous force in our country. Yes, there's a threat from Islamist terrorists. Yes, there's a threat from Islamic supremacists. But the left are facilitating them. And the left, if they ever get power, will absolutely destroy our country. Corbyn must be resisted with every single fibre of our being. We must not let that man gain any power in our country or any of his little hangers-on. I believe we're going to get Brexit. But after Brexit, then what? Well, that's when politics is going to get really interesting. Because we have to smash these people. We have to destroy them. We have to destroy their ideas. We have to destroy their networks. We have to destroy their thought processes. And remember, these people, these people are in academia. These people are in the academy. These people are teaching your children. They're teaching my children and my grandchildren. They're teaching in universities, lecturing in universities. And they need to be rooted out. These communist ideologues need to be pursued and rooted out. Because they will destroy the country. They are extremely dangerous. So, yes, I've had some threats. I've seen some patriots beaten up. But, but there's a real upside to all of this. And what's the upside? Based Amy took a massive pin and burst the left's bubble today. And boy, were they triggered. Well done, Amy. And that's the thing we should be doing. We, we, we're not violent people. We're not into violence. We're Democrats and we want to do what we want to do what we've got to do to save our nation democratically. And I've always said what we stand for is freedom, true equality, democracy and sovereignty. That's what we stand for. And if that's fascism, well, good luck. So until next time, let's keep fighting the good fight. Um, remember the left, they're everywhere. They're in every single government organization. They're in the media. They control the media. Um, they control vast swathes of local government and of course they've very very cleverly infiltrated the education system they need to be opposed they need to be stood against and uh, we need to make this our life's work when i get up in the morning the first thing i think of is what can i do today to save my country and to make a better country for my children and my grandchildren and i think every single one of us should do the same see you soon